What's up everybody? We are back out here. It's the next day. I had my wife help me just lift the hood off because she had to go. Um, but we're still working on this front clip alignment. Um, I A lot of you helped out on Instagram and Facebook last night. Uh, so here's my plan today. I took the hood off because I didn't want that to uh, distract me from the alignment of the fenders. So what I'm going to do is actually pop the hood of the white truck because that's completely stock, never been taken off. And I'm going to take some measurements from the firewall to the core support at various locations, some cross measurements, both directions, um, and see what those are. And then I'm going to replicate those measurements over here. Um, and then as many of you suggested, I think what I need to do is first get this door exactly where I want it, which it's almost there. This direction it's there, but it needs to go in just a little bit. So I'm going to set that in and then I'm going to line this fender up to it perfectly. Uh, tighten this down, leave the front loose and work my way from there. So another day at doing this, I probably spent four or five hours yesterday and feel like I didn't make any progress, but from what I understand, that's the name of the game when you're trying to align these old panels. So uh, anyways, let's get to it. Let's see what we can get done. All right guys, we're making progress. So let me show you. This body line is pretty dang good. One thing I'm noticing, and I've always needed to replace this door. Um, it's a, a pretty common issue with the driver doors to have this hinge rip out the sheet metal here. I've welded it, but it's kind of a temporary fix. But, you know, sanding it, I noticed this isn't even the the original door. There's Bondo here. Um, and as I'm doing this body work, I'm noticing that the contours of the door um, are not lining up with the fender. So I think this door's been in an accident. You can see it comes out here a little bit. And then as we go down, it actually hides too low. So what I'm gonna do is get the fender lined up as well as I can. And uh, when I can find a new door, I'll find a new door and replace it and paint it and stuff. But for right now, that's looking pretty good. We've been out here 10 minutes and we've made more progress than I made in five hours yesterday. So anyways, now I'm gonna start uh, working on the other side. All right, so here's access to the lower hinge. And then you guys saw me take the glove box off. I unplugged both these harnesses. Let's see if we can get a view in there. So through that hole, I'm gonna see if I can get access to the upper hinge. Cause I'm not pulling the dash for this. The dash is uh, not a fun job to pull, so. I'm gonna see if I can get access to that up in there. All right guys, we are making progress today. So, got this door all lined up perfectly. I showed you, I took the glove box out. I was easily able to access those two bolts with a, an extension. There's a wobble socket on here right now, but I didn't even need one. So, uh, that passenger door is definitely easier to adjust than the driver is. So now, 
passenger door is done so we're gonna line up this fender get it all tightened down and then we're gonna take some measurements to make sure everything's square um, and then we'll uh, probably put the hood on so this is good though making way more progress today than I did yesterday um, thanks for all you guys help on Facebook and Instagram all you guys' tips are helping a ton, so. All right, guys, another step. Got this fender lined up. Pretty good. So, I'm going to take some measurements real quick before we do the hood, and I don't have someone to help me lift the hood on anyway, so take some measurements, kind of see where we need to be, make sure the core support's completely in the center, and then we'll go from there. Alrighty guys, little progress update. Um, things are going good. I re actually readjusted this door and fender a little bit. Turned out really good. Uh, the other side you guys have saw is done. I had a buddy come help me put the hood back on. And let me show you where I've got it. There's that side. And there's that side. So I need to adjust the hinges down on both sides, but we've made progress today. So I'm going to adjust the hood and then fasten all the fenders back up and we'll be done for the day, for the two days. All right, guys, let me show you where it's at. So there's this side. It's pretty good, needs to be leveled just a little bit more. And here's this side. 10 times better than it was. The gap's a little big back there, but I am super happy with the results of this. So it took me a long time, took a ton of retracing my steps, took me digging further into this truck than I had planned on. I mean, I pulled the panels out of the interior to get into the dash to adjust the doors. I pulled the radiator to move the core support. Um, I did a lot more to get this done than I was expecting to do. But for right now, I'm satisfied with where it's at. I might, after I paint it, I might take it to a body shop and have them work their magic and get it absolutely perfect. But I think for my capabilities at this point, this is pretty good. The doors both close really, really nice. They sound rattly because the uh, door panels aren't on them, so everything kind of rattles in there. Speaking of which, when we put those back on after we're done with the bodywork, we're going to put sound deadener inside the door skins too. So, Anyways, good progress. This is a long process, but thanks for hanging in there with me. Hopefully you learned something. 
Uh, learn from my mistakes, if anything. You know, yesterday I spent four or five hours and didn't get anything done because I didn't have a system or a process to go about it. Today, when I, I started at one spot, got that good, fastened it down, and then moved to the next spot, kind of adjacent to that, and fastened that down, it just worked really well. Um, again, thank you for everyone on Facebook, on Instagram for helping out. Uh, Justin, my buddy from up in Alaska, who's been helping me out with this truck for... Uh, when did I move to Alaska? 2013. He was helping me out right the day I moved there. So thanks a lot, Justin. Um, thanks for all your help, guys. And we'll see you in the next video.